Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. Before I begin today's lesson, I have a question. If I want to know about God, where do I look? In the Bible. The Bible tells me I can look at what God made and I can figure out there is a God. I can figure out he's big and strong, but that is all I can know. If I want to know if he loves me or what sin is or how to get to heaven, I have to look in the Bible. Well, we've been going through the book of Acts, having adventure after adventure as the disciples are obeying Jesus' instructions that they were supposed to be his witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. We are in the section of Acts where the church is finally starting to go to the ends of the earth. Um, Paul and Barnabas had been commanded by the Holy Spirit to have their first what we call missionary journey where they have gone out and begun to tell people everywhere the gospel, telling them all about who Jesus is and why he matters and how they can get to heaven. And so they have had a, so many adventures on this first missionary journey. They had gone across the entire island of Cyprus and preached the gospel. They are now in what's modern day Turkey in the uh, province of Galatia at that time, telling people about the gospel. And it's been an interesting trip. Some people have received the word about Jesus with joy and have repented of their sins and are following Jesus. And other people have gotten really mad. And so Paul and Barnabas have been through some pretty hard things. They've been kicked out of towns. Then the last lesson, Paul was stoned and left for dead for telling people about Jesus. So it's been an interesting journey. So we are now to the end of Acts chapter 14. So if you have your Bible, please get it. And we're going to be starting in verse 21. And in today's lesson, Paul and Barnabas are going to finish their first missionary journey. But there's a lot that we can learn about what it looks like to follow Jesus, even in this section. So let's see what we can learn today. You ready? So when we left off, Paul and Barnabas had just left Lystra where Paul had been stoned and they had walked 60 miles to the city of Derby. So when this first first picks up there in the city of Derby. They preached the good news in that city and won a large number of disciples. And then they returned to Lystra, to Iacom and to Antioch strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Paul and Barnabas appointed elders for them in each church. And with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they had put their trust. After going through Poseidon, they had come to Pamphylia. And when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Attilia, and from Attilia, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they had gathered the church together and reported all that God had done through them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. And there they stayed a long time with the disciples. So there's not a lot of action on the flannels in this section, but there's a lot of action on the part of Paul and Barnabas. So let's go back through this step by step and see what they do. So they arrive in Derby. Derby is a Roman town. And so there's no synagogue in Derby. So this story starts out with Paul and Barnabas doing what they always do if there's no synagogue. They start telling people in the market about Jesus and preaching out to just people right where they are, right where they're working and living. And many, they want a large number of disciples. Many people in Derby repented of their sins, believed Jesus was the Messiah and started following the one true God. And so after being in Derby, they had realized this was the last new place that they needed to go and they start retracing their steps back to all the places they had been. So they go back to Lystra. Now remember what happened, what had just happened in Lystra? 
the priest of Zeus had tried to offer sacrifices to them and then some Jews from Iacum and um, and the other beside Antioch had come and stoned Paul. Would you go back to Lystra? But that's exactly what God asked Barnabas and Paul to do. And they are faithful. They go back to Lystra and they go right to the church that they had left and they do two things. They preach to them again, warning them that we must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God and they appoint elders and pray over them and ask that they will be committed to the Lord in whom they put their trust. So we've talked about this in the live version, but I want to make sure I'm as clear about it in the in the recorded version as I have been in the live version. So when it says they left a church behind in each one of these cities they visited, they didn't leave a building. No buildings at all. The church at this point is the people the believers, those who have decided to follow Jesus, and they're meeting together in homes. So when they get back to Lystra, they're going into people's homes. They're gathering together the people who have decided to follow Jesus, and they're praying over them and teaching them and encouraging them. There's no special buildings in any of these places, and yet the gospel is spreading and spreading and spreading. So I hope this is a little bit of an encouragement right now, especially because most of us aren't meeting in church buildings right now. We're meeting in our homes. And yet, despite that, the gospel is what? Spreading and spreading and spreading. So even in this crazy COVID season, God's doing some of the same things he was doing right here in Acts. And at least for me, it's kind of exciting to watch him do it that we're finally returning to the days of Acts where people aren't so concerned about buildings. They're very concerned about people and people hearing the gospel and growing in their faith. So they go back to Lystra and encourage the church there. Then they go back to Iacum and encourage the church there. And then they even go back to Poseidon Antioch. Now remember what had happened in Poseidon Antioch. That's where they had been chased out of town by the leaders. And they go back there too and teach the same thing they had in Lystra and Iconium. They're teaching the people that they need to stay faithful to the Lord even when there's hardships. And boy, had Paul and Barnabas modeled that well. Paul and Barnabas had had some hardships, but had they quit sharing the gospel? No, they had had some physical hardships. Do you think it was fun to be stoned or chased out of town? No, it wasn't fun. And yet they had kept going to the next place and they had kept telling people about Jesus no matter what, because that's what Jesus had asked them to do. So I have a question. When you're telling people about Jesus and they don't like it, do you give up and stop telling people about Jesus? That's something to think about. If we're going to be doing what Jesus said, we can't stop, can we? No, we just keep sharing. And we don't let the hardships that come keep us from doing what Jesus asked us to do. So when they finally are done, they get back on the boat. They don't go back to Cyprus, but they do go right back home to Antioch, Syria, to the church that had sent them in the first place. And when they get there, what do they do? They tell everyone about the amazing things that had happened on their trip, everything that had happened in Galatia and on Cyprus. And the believers are so encouraged. They also get to tell them about how God is starting to bring people who are Gentiles, which means they didn't grow up knowing about the one true God. They grew up as idol worshipers. All these idol worshipers are now part of the church as they're believing Jesus and following Jesus. And so there is a lot of rejoicing happening in Antioch, Syria as they come home. So this is the end of the first missionary journey. What's interesting to me, if you look at a map, is that this first journey, they really only go two places, Cyprus and Galatia. 
Galatia, like I said, is a province. So it's, it's like going to two different states. If you're thinking in terms of the United States, it would be like saying I went to two different states and then I came home. But that leaves a whole lot of people that haven't heard about the gospel yet, right? So when we start our next missionary journey, we're going to see that Paul and Barnabas are going to go a lot further than just two places. They're going to go much, much further with the gospel. But the other thing I wanted to point out is that we are to the season of Advent. So starting next week, we're going to do a mini series. We're going to pause and ask. And we're going to do a mini series going back through the Gospels and do a synoptic Christmas story because there is so much more than just Luke 2. And so I'm looking forward to starting that with you guys. If you have questions, please post them. The Kids in Live version have had amazing questions the last few weeks. So if you have questions, please post them. I'll do my best to answer them. And I hope that this has been such an encouragement in this time of isolation that God can use you right where you are with the people you know, and that you don't have to be in a church building to be telling people about Jesus. It can happen right in the market, right where you are. We'll see you next time.